All right, you guys, we're going to get a little bit more advanced now, and I'm going to show you how to edit the quote-unquote bank of names for the NBA Street Volume 2 roster files. So let's go ahead and open up our Dolphin folder, navigate to where you have exported all of the database files, or all the files in the game, into that root folder that I showed you in the previous uh, video. So let's open up the Teams folder first, or file. Um, and as we can see, we just have a mess of stuff here, and then we have a bunch of names. Now technically you can go through here and change the wizards to, we can just delete it and put an A there, we have the wazards now. Changing um, the name without uh, changing the length of the name does still work for this kind of hex editing. However, it is much easier to uh, edit the team ID names, if you will, and uh, the references to them in hex on steroids and put the names at the bottom here. So let's say we have the thunder right here. We just need one double zero in between each name. And let's say we want to call the team the oh, weirdos, because <laughs> why not? So what we have to do is open up hex on steroids and open up the profile that I gave you guys, the teams, uh, uh, GameCube one and you can also do this for players too. go ahead and let's open up the team file and I have this all nice and sorted out by which team is which so let's call the weirdos for the Lakers let's change the Lakers name to the weirdos now these three names right here or numbers right here rows three four and five control which names are used for that team as you can see, this is a modified one. So I have uh, the New Jersey Nets being the Brooklyn Nets by changing this number right here. How we get that number is based on the distance between this A before Atlanta here all the way down to the beginning of the W right here. So through this selection, right down here, we can see that we have 586 bytes selected. And that is in hex, not decimal. We can load up calculator in view, change it over to programmer, click hex right here, and type in 586, 586, and then hit the decimal button right here. So I know that there is 1,414 bytes in decimal between this A and this W. And that is how I can decipher or tell the game to use the weirdos instead of whatever other name they're referencing to. So I can go to the Lakers right here, the beautiful, wonderful Lakers, and I can just change this uh, to, hmm, LA Lakers, LA Lakers. I think I want to change this one right here to 14, 14, just like that. So this should be Los Angeles. This should be Los Angeles, I believe. And then this one right here will be the weirdos. So this will be the Los Angeles weirdos, just because that's how I did that. So this 14, 14 right here, starts here, looks down the file until it finds these weirdos right here. And that is how it knows where to, uh, you know, get that name from. We can close this out and not save it. Now, where this gets a little bit more advanced, when I did the new um, roster for all the players, instead of trying to fit in all the names into where the base game is, I added everyone's name, even if it was duplicates, all at the bottom here. So these are all current names right here. So again, if I want to have Nene's name show up, I need to go from Nene all the way to the beginning here. And as we can see, that's 17D4 in hex, and you have to convert that to decimal offsets. And then I can you know, type in whatever name into that. Now what I did to make this a little bit quicker is I have um, under my street stuff here um, players names and offsets I believe is the one I want it is not the one I want <laughs> uh, HD roster is this it position 4 nope appearances name IDs close it's a finished names IDs Okay, there we go. Name jump codes calc, because those are technically called jump codes, I guess. <laughs> so what I did is we I took all the names of the players here. So we have Michael Carter-Williams, Jason Richardson, Evan Turner, and such. Um, I got these 
separated so that they're, they are each on their own line. And then, using the len command in OpenOffice, I believe this is in Excel too, I did len, which gives me seven, because there's seven characters in Michael's name, plus one for that little dot that's in between each name. So I know that th Michael in the name, the bank of names part of this, takes up eight slots. Carter Williams takes up 16 slots. This is including that space at the end. Jason of Jason Richardson takes up six. Richardson takes up 11 and so on and so on and so on. Now, before I actually started this, I went through and checked to see where the original file ended. And I believe we can see that right here. So I knew that this is from the base game right here, what's selected. So I needed to start my numbers at 10 or 100 C, or excuse me, 1000 and C. So if I load up calculator again, because I closed it for whatever reason, I can go to hex, 100 C, hit decimal, 4108. Go over here, I typed in 4108, and then, because I knew that's where the Michael was going to be to start this off. And then I just went E1 plus G1, which is the 14108 plus the length of Michael's name, and just dragged this down all the way. So as you can see, it's just the length of name above it plus the offset it had. All the way down, and then to get it um, happy, and you know, I just had to do a little bit of formatting to get it to show up like this, so I know that Delfino is here and Carlos is here. Sanders is here, Larry is here, Rose is there, Derek is here. A little bit of formatting to get that all set and happy. And then using hex on steroids again, I could just import this right into the player database uh, file. This is very complicated stuff, but I did at least want to show you guys how to do this kind of advanced hex editing stuff. Just in case, for whatever reason, a couple years down the line, someone else wants to update the uh, NBA Street Volume 2 roster this is how you do it. So I really hope this helps. I'm not expecting everyone to catch on to this, but um, I, I at least wanted to get that knowledge out there. So feel free to leave comments, and I'll see you in the next video.